Hey Adventurers, this is Jerry from Adventures Jerry Lynn. Today we want to test out the Coleman Butane Stove. I wanted to have a, uh, an alternate way of cooking. Um, we have two 30 pound propane uh, tanks on top of the, well in front of the cargo trailer. We have a 7 by 16 cargo trailer and I wanted just something different in case if we get low on propane we have an alternate way to cook and heat the cargo trailer worst case scenario um i bought this on amazon for 34 dollars and then um i've never had i've never used butane so this is my first time and you're watching and then i bought also from amazon four eight ounce uh butane so we'll just go ahead and open this up And I watched some videos to see how to use it. All right. So we got that open. And then we are going to open this up. And slide off this little sleeve. Or I hate to just rip it. There we go. So there's that. So I hope everybody's doing well today. So looks like they got little arrows. Just slide it open. And there we go. Okay. This looks easy. Comes in like, a, looks like a little briefcase. So it's nice and slim. So we'll just set that aside. And we'll slide this out. Comes in a little wrapping. And here you go. It's the Coleman. And they said to use, let's get this out the way, like a 10 inch pan. So you are, um, the videos that I watched, you don't want your pan to go over to the butane side. Apparently, the, when you have a really large pan that covers the butane side, you're more likely to have like a, a an explosion or, you know, some kind of mishap. So you just open it up and they said you pull off the cap. And then there's this this little notch right here. You can see that little notch right here. And also, I learned that this CRV right here, this is a um, um, what do you call it? Get in the light here. Countersink release uh, vent. So this is a safety feature, and they said it's good to have that when you buy the uh, butane. So it says to, you're going to put this upward. And with this little tab right here, here, let's, there's this little tab right here. Can you see that? And we're going to put the canister in here like that. So here we go. We're going to take the canister with this facing up. And you're going to lift this little tab. And push that in. Close it. And they said once you push this down, it moves the canister forward like that. So you can, uh, so it can engage. And then let's try it and see if it works. And maybe it takes a second. I can smell it. Hmm. Let's try that again. There it goes. Oh, 
what happened was I didn't click it all the way. You have to bring it back further enough. Far enough. Okay. So you see the good flame there? Yeah. Well, you can't see. This pan isn't overextending covering the butane side. It's not doing that. So I want to try it. So we're going to make some fancy chicken noodle soup. Because again, I... Uh, I just wanted to try and see how it uh, works as an alternate heat source in cooking. And of course it says to use, yeah, one can of uh, water. I don't need that much water. So I'm just going to swirl it in there. And Now the sink, the instruction says that with this butane, that you can cook for an hour and a half on high or you could cook longer if it's on low but we're gonna cook it on high again this is just a sample we just want to see how this works and so far I like that and I got everything right I didn't know what kind of spoon I should use then I got my bowl and my spoon here But um, it seems pretty easy. And like I said, so if you have a, an hour and a half of cooking on high, that's a pretty long time. You can't beat that. This is really nice. Now they say that the pros and cons of these are the pros is that it's it's lightweight, it's portable, and it does, let's see, the Coleman stove, like I said, costs $34, and the uh, butane, uh, let's see, I think it was under, it was around 20 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, to get the four cans, so it didn't cost that much. see I really like this I can see like if you were like uh, in a van or if you uh, were camping in your SUV or your car this heat that I'm feeling that that's coming around it seemed like it would you know warm up a nice nice space but yeah the 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 pros of this is it's cheap and it's portable like I said it came in that little bitty briefcase and look at it it's already starting to bubble already so according to the instructions on the soup can you can cook to two and a half to three minutes on high this is the perfect size and I think the cons are like if you were outside like I'm doing this inside my kitchen, but if you were outside, you have to worry about the wind. They said that the uh, the wind would make it, um, you know, blow off, blow and turn off. So they said that you could get, you know, like a, a protective, uh, like a steel thing around it, so you could break the wind, so you can still get uh, the flame going. And um, oh, and another con with butane they said that it has to be over 32 degrees well today here in indiana it is a cold 11 degrees so i couldn't very well do this demonstration outside even though i have the canister it's at room temperature <laughs> i didn't want to be embarrassed by not being able to cook this all the way and then um that kind of defeats the purpose so that didn't very that didn't take very long but so far so good i'm really impressed with this and you know it's just soup it doesn't take long i'm gonna let that boil for about another minute or so 
So, uh, let's see. I don't have any complaints. Still got a strong flame. Again, that would be different if you were outside and if it was like windy, you know. I, I think eventually I'm going to have to get one of those pieces, you know, like a metal, some kind of to protect so when the wind blows, this doesn't blow out. Because then that would defeat the whole purpose of trying to cook. Well, while this pan is still hot, I think I'm going to turn this off. The flame is off. That worked pretty good. Set that aside. There is a little bit of a an odor. Um, you know, but it's well ventilated in the house. So, you know, I got the door open to the screen door. Um, so there's some good ventilation. So then all I would do is just pour this in my bowl. What is that? Less than five minutes, if that. Yeah, I, I'd say the only downfall is with it being cold here in Indiana, this definitely, if we were out boondocking or if we were at, you know, some kind of uh, campsite, you know, with full plug-ins, we definitely couldn't use this outside. We would have to use this inside the cargo trailer and just make sure that there was plenty of ventilation. So I'm going to call this a success. Gourmet soup. It's too hot to eat, but that will be eaten. Again, it's just a, you know, the Campbell's. I use like half the can of water to fill it. And I am really impressed. I'd say a thumbs up on that. All right. Well, you guys take care. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And, um... Get the notification, hit the bell, so that way whenever I drop a new video, you can not miss anything. All right. Love you, family. You take care. We'll see y'all on Oprah Road. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.